It has been freaking cold lately. This week, we're gonna take a little bit of a break with uh, repairing everything, and uh, all this cold weather really got me to thinking, man, it would suck to be stuck on the mountain overnight. So this is something I started carrying around with me at the end of last year. Like this is kind of like a bare minimum kind of thing for me. Uh, it's just tiny little insurance policy. Now I'm not including in this video, your day kit. So that includes your shovel, your radio, your avalanche beacon, your spare gloves. Uh, I actually have a complete another series on that one, a whole nother video. Uh, and you can check it out here. It's old, but it's, uh, it still holds up. What I'm talking about is an extra kit I put together uh, that I started carrying with me that if I have to spend the night on the mountain, I can do it. So I have an incredible amount of things in this little package because I don't use it for anything but my overnight survival bag. So we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna have a huge list of everything I have in there. Maybe you wanna add some stuff to it, uh, but this is my little insurance policy for the mountains. So I just have it in a tiny little mountain addiction bag uh, because that just slides on my rails and I can have it on either of my M8s and it just slides on next to my little gas can. And uh, the, basically the, the idea of this uh, for me is that I never have to open it. And if I had to have to open it, it means uh, there's trouble. So on the very top, I have a, I think it's a six by eight tarp. It's fairly large without getting too crazy, but uh, either keep yourself dry or keep the snow out of somewhere or off something. Or even having it just something you can lay on in the snow. Electrical tape, I also have this in my day kit, but uh, Electrical tape is my favorite on the mountains because you can really wrap it up good around stuff and it uh, tightens up nicely. It pains me a little bit to have to take all this stuff out. So in this bag, I have a headlamp, spare batteries for the headlamp. I also have a couple lighters in here, carrying two, a waterproof butane lighter in there. So over here, I basically have multiple ways of starting fire as well as a source of light. Uh, again, I carry a flashlight in my kit my day kit as well. So I've got backups for the backups. Now I carry a number of these. These are just those little um, heat blankets that uh, you can pick up at Canadian Tire or wherever for really cheap. But I, uh, I carry actually a bunch of those with me. Um, they're only so good. Like uh, they only have so much protection. They're only gonna keep you so warm and they're only so durable. So uh, I have four of them because I feel like you can keep maybe some water off you, some snow off you uh, at the bare minimum, and reflect some of that heat back. Uh, and it sure is a lot better than looking at nothing. Keep a bunch of these in there, uh, hand warmers. I'm gonna come back to food in a second. I have everything basically individually wrapped in here because I'm trying to keep uh, everything as dry as I can. So if I have everything actually packed into that bag and it's tight, it's not gonna be bouncing up and down in the trail rubbing and uh, everything should stay pretty good in it. I am carrying a basic first aid kit, carrying the multi-tool too. Um, I, again, something else I carry in my uh, day kit. Got some paracord here. And then what I have in here is um, a couple of stainless steel uh, cooking pods. I'm not gonna take them out of the bag this time, but in here I have uh, wool socks and uh, a second pair of gloves or a third pair because I carry extra in my kit again. But uh, I've got another smaller pair in there uh, bundled up nicely with my wool socks. Zip ties, something I carry in my main kit. A little bit of fire starter here. Um, it's waterproof anyway, keeping it dry and intact. Uh, but a little bit of fire starter and the fire starter works great if you pair it up with one of these. Who remembers these? Who remembers Boy Scouts? Or uh, if you were in cadets like me, you remember these? Huh? The hobo burner, the buddy burner. If you actually, if you've never seen one of these buddy burners, I, I made two of them real quick. Um, so they're basically just little tuna cans and you roll up cardboard and then you fill that with wax and you have this little cool thing here and uh, it'll basically, this'll run for an hour and a half or two hours. It's uh, a giant candle and it will boil water. So if you were in uh, Boy Scouts or cadets like I was, uh, survival training or whatever, uh, you might recognize these. Uh, I got two of them in there, so it's just like a source of solid fuel. At the bottom, I got a tiny little cooking rack. It's not taking up much space, but the idea is basically I'm using it as a little uh, grill between my uh, 
my buddy burner and uh, my main pot here. Just got to prop it up with a couple of sticks or something, but that's not taking up any space. So I have it in there. And I also have uh, a couple of tea lights in there too. I can go back to this one. Uh, this one is my food actually. Yeah, in here I got uh, a couple of things of tea and I, got, uh, and I got a couple of granola bars in there. And then I also have a little packet of dried soup mix. Now, when you are on the mountain um, and you have to spend the night up there, half of it or more than half of it is a mental game. So even if you have just like a little bit of soup to enjoy, um, as well as these, you can boil the water in it or boil the snow down. You've got uh, yourself some, some soup on the mountain. Like this is more than anything, this is a morale booster. You could also do it this instead of these, you could do like a little propane stovey jobby or um, one of those, uh, uh, pressure stoves too. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, but uh, I'm going with a solid fuel. It's waterproof uh, Just able to throw on a little bit of that fire starter in there get that wax rolling and uh, We have got a, a pretty sweet little fire that will go for a long time So at least if you're looking at like a basic kit like this at least you got something again This is not your day stuff. This is not your shovel. This is not your avalanche bag your helmet your goggles your boots uh, your radios that's that's not this stuff that stuff. I've got a whole nother video for go check it out uh, This is the uh, the emergency fund basically a lot of stuff doubles up for me because I carry tools I carry a lighter I carry uh, Zip ties I carry paracord you might want to add different things into your kit This is basically the kit that I built for myself Because um, in the words of my father, I'd rather be looking at it than looking for it this will get you started. Uh, it'll help you out with the shelter. It'll help make that night on the mountain a little more comfortable. Uh, and it gives you peace of mind. You can see a list that I made on this kit that does not include your day stuff. Cause like, I also have one of these. Uh, I haven't tried it out yet, but I'll do a review video on it this year. One of these uh, Zolios, I'm gonna try that out. But uh, that's something that could be added to your overnight bag too, is a way to communicate with the outside world while you don't have service. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope it gets you to thinking that man maybe I should carry a little more stuff with me on the mountains because it happens. People have to spend the night on the mountains and it's not every time that they come back. It can be exposure to the elements, it could be an injury, it could be not having the right equipment. Uh, so think about it a little bit. Thanks for watching today's video. We're going to be out soon. I can see a bunch of you have been out already. You guys go find the stumps for me, break some A-arms, and then I'll come out in mid-December when the riding's all good. That's it for this video. Rolled epic new logo now. Uh, stay safe out there. Have fun. And I will see you guys on the mountain. And now I get to put this all back together. All neatly. We'll see you guys out there.